Hello everyone, happy Saturday. This is a pick a card reading for today, Saturday, July 29th. You pick a card, it's your main energy. I pull them all together though. And if you're born today, July 29th, I will do a reading for you next. If you pick card number one, you have the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign male that can be an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Uh, maybe in focus today. That's what the card does represent. So that could be in focus. What I do feel for some of you, this could be someone, a connection from the past. Um, I do feel here too that your energy definitely is telling me here you're on the right path. Uh, you're thinking more logically too. Uh, truth and integrity is very important today too. So can be dealing with someone, a, a VIP as well, or contacting an attorney, I feel some of you um, is coming into focus too. But I do feel this is someone from the past could be thinking about you that that represents these qualities, may even think of uh, reaching out to you. But I don't know if it's going to happen today. If you pick card number two, you have the eight of wands. Okay, very nice, exciting energy, I want to say here too. Uh, some, of, some of you may get a message from someone who has a fire sign type of energy or a business message, maybe um, a response to an application is what I'm picking up as well. Uh, you're very grounded. You're in the spotlight. You definitely know what you want today. You're doing things your way. Um, you're very, very creative with work too. This is great if you have your own business. This is an energy of news that new money or some form of way of money is coming in. This could be additional money to the money that you're making already. Um, I feel there's some great news with wealth or inheritance or property matters. There is financial security here too. Good um, energy with family. You have some strong long-term success here. So I definitely feel that energy and liking it. Okay. Card number three is the Knight of Swords. This could be a swift moving um, day for you. Things could move really quickly. I feel a nice surprise. Maybe somebody comes in, surprises you. If you have a long distance relationship, maybe the person comes, flies in and surprises someone. I do pick that up for someone out there. Um, I do feel blessings coming into the universe. From, this is a very creative time, proposals, invitations. And I do pick up a Capricorn energy here as well. So this is a swift moving energy. It can be a surprise as well. All right, so when we're looking at all of this, there is a wish fulfillment today, okay? But we have to be patient. Uh, patience is key today too. We do have some decisions to make that we may um, need to trust ourselves or we're, indece uh, we're undecisive is what I feel as well. Um, I do feel that a there could be some travel plans or we could be, this could be quick plans, uh, spontaneous plans too, or impulsive plans to, uh, for travel. I'm picking up a Leo energy today too. New ideas are floating around as well. Now, there is a little energy here of needing some kind of balance. Give and take is very important. All right. Generosity. Watch it if you're too generous or if someone, you know what I mean? There's needs a balance there. What I do feel here, self-care is important too. Now, for some of us, there can be news that the, the downside on this is um, you have unpaid debts. Uh, debt collectors could come in, unexpected energy with money too. Um, make sure that your charity or your uh, generosity is not one-sided here. Uh, or there could be something with string, strings attached. You know, this could be, oh, this sounds good, but, but, you know, um, there is a sense of a lot of power and domination today, too, surrounding us, okay? All right, so that is the reading for today, Saturday, July 29th. Have a fabulous Saturday. Happy birthday if you're born today, July 29th. This is a quick and general reading. This is your solar, your theme, and that is your wish card. Your solar, your theme is the king of swords. Wow, popped up twice in the reading today. Now, an air sign can be a very significant person during your solar year, which is a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. Um, so I do feel that, too. You could be dealing with official people, law. Um, you could also be... A, a, asked to be more self-reliant or need to rely on yourself more than others this year too. Uh, more intellectual thinking, um, so it's like a mind over matter is important during the year too. I do feel there could be a sudden breakup or um, an ending and a friendship with this kind of, uh, with this person that has this energy too. There can be an argument. 
um, that's going to be significant in a fallout. I do see this person could disappoint you. I do see that there will be expect the unexpected. I do feel that there's going to be some sudden changes um, and things coming at you out of the blue. So I do feel that. So um, at times there could be surprises, sudden changes, things beyond your control. Um, I do feel do not believe everything you hear. Not everything is as it seems. Don't make promises you can't keep and don't believe everything you do hear or other people's promises. Don't hold them to their word. I do feel new dating. Um, if you've been single, you may start dating and new love is coming in or renewal of love. A child may be very significant uh, during the solar year and some good news with a child may come through too. I do feel you may be dealing with some disappointments. Um, you're surrounded by music, high creativity here too. So a lot of music. I do pick up a Gemini strongly here is coming into focus too. This is a year to think uh, things through carefully, not with the emotions and proceed with caution. So I do feel that kind of energy. The fruits of your labor will be realized you, and you will have some rewards. Gifts are coming in. You may purchase some luxury items this year too. You uh, need to be more self-sufficient. And this is going into financial um, independence. A change of uh, direction with work or career is possible and, and, and home and residence and a focus on family. A Virgo is also coming into focus here, okay? It, your wish for your solar year is the Knight of Cups. I do feel this is a yes answer. I feel excitement, happiness, a, but comes with it maybe a little bit of a delay. Delve into spirituality and prayers and may, and this wish will come to uh, will, will come true. Okay, I do see a celebration here of some sorts too. All right, um, important numbers for your solar year. 3, 9, 73, 45, 59, 70, and 14, and 28, 27. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a fabulous Saturday. Bye.